Hello everyone, Manthro here, and welcome to another money making guide. My plan is to actually do a lot of these and kind of get them all out right away instead of spread out through years like I did before. Uh, but this one is actually going to be on Hunter, and I'm doing one of my Hunter favorites, and that's the Big Game Hunter. Uh, the reason why I would strongly recommend Big Game Hunter over any other method is because, number one, you don't really need anything other than the bait. If you have the bait, you're going to make a profit. Um, because th this is one where you're going to gain sharks as you're doing. You're going to gain raw sharks. You're going to gain raw manta rays. You know, you probably won't gain raw sailfish. I don't think I've ever gained raw sailfish yet. But you'll gain the bait as you go through it. So that's why I recommend it. You'll gain all of that stuff. You don't need, you know, anything else with it really. You just need to have a way of getting, <coughs> a way of, you know, getting sailfish. That's it. Which, if you're high enough fishing, that's not really going to be a big deal. But that's kind of all you really need to obtain. Whereas if you do other hunting methods, you are going to look into your summons, your familiars. You're going to look into all those other things. When, in reality, this is probably actually the best method. It's cheap, it's free, it's good XP. And you can get some pretty substantial, you know, earnings from it. Such as, you know, like, I have, I got one of the... Triceratops, as I'm going to call them. I forget what I think there is like a Shuya Tops or something like that. I can't properly pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But Triceratops, you know. So I have one of those, and it's worth three mil unchecked. So it's just like you know that that right there alone is something that tells you, hey, this is something that's actually kind of worthwhile. Let's go check it out now. Not only to top that off, but I also got a Dragon Maddock the other day, which that is another 23 mil in my pocket. So, and just a couple hunting trips like these, I gained like 27 mil. Now, I didn't sell any of that stuff because I want to use that stuff. You know, if I can use it, why not use it? Um, now, I just don't have to go out and buy it. I don't have to worry about making the money to buy it. I just have it. Now, it's kind of one of my methods, too, is... is to never buy any of your goods. Uh, just always try to obtain the stuff yourself. Uh, uh, to me, that's the best way of doing things. Um, I understand why some people do buy it because then you can get to these points faster and then you just get points, uh, uh, profits faster. So, I mean, I do understand that method. And it is a viable method. It's just not necessarily my method. Um, but, you know, as for tips and tricks when it comes to the Big Game Hunter, this episode is basically going to be mostly about the Big Game Hunter, is you won't actually need your Hunter Skill Cape if you have the Hunter Skill Cape. You'll actually want the Agility Skill Cape equipped on you. Uh, reason being is because that'll actually help you uh, when you're traversing the different types of creatures. Now, if you can actually have your box upgraded to the point of where it acts as a deposit box as well, that's another bonus that will actually greatly reduce your time that you have to spend in, you know, going from one creature to the next because you can actually deposit stuff straight from there, straight to your bank. So, I don't quite have this account upgraded that far yet, so that's why it takes a little bit longer for this account versus my other one. Uh, but that's not too much of a big deal. <coughs> Now, once you have enough hunter marks <coughs> to start reducing like the amount of frogs and you have the appropriate building, I would recommend doing it as long as you don't need those hunter marks for anything else. <clears throat> if you need the hunter marks for anything else, don't waste them. You know, get the stuff that you need first, then go for the frog repellent. Um, Lure things, I wouldn't worry about it because you kind of need the different meats in order to get uh, the different dinos anyway. And each one you still get not only good XP, but you get good rewards including uh, different fruit tree seeds and tree seeds. 
which those alone have some in you know some pretty good profits to them so you're going to see like the reason why i'm kind of going to make this video just a little bit longer than the wood cutting one is because i'm also going to show you uh one of my methods <clears throat> and that's now achievable because i have a lot of logs cut my one whole my one goal is to always get as many cut as possible but i'm going to save five and this this part of it is mostly for the people who can't get the frog repellent who don't have the reduced one frog uh perk from you know the appropriate building so <coughs> yeah so this is for those people who kind of don't have that option but overall though this is going to be your best way to make money Okay, for whatever reason, there was a little bit of a delay there with uh, fletching these. Yeah, so what I want to do is I get as many logs as I can carry, first off, uh, before it says that, oh, you burned out the resources. And then I try to save five logs. The reason why I try to save five logs off the bat is because, well... For the first one, unless it has multiples, you're going to need to build all three of these one time, build the center twice, because you're going to want to get one of each of the frogs, and then you're going to get the rest of the frogs the color you need, and then one of the one that's below it. At least that's the way I've always done it, um, because then you'll just have to shoot it again, and then you're done. This is probably the worst part, is just getting this set up. Now he did kind of his, and also while you're doing it, you can take notice of his path. You're, well, you're dying his path. So I've noticed he kind of loops around like this. He comes up here, but then he goes like this, and then he comes back. So I'm not, I'm not overly worried about him, you know, detecting me a little bit like that, especially in this spot here. It's not too much of a big deal. Now for this one, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna get as many of these as I can because this one I can actually hunt completely before I run out of bait. So I'm just gonna leave three spots here for the three different color frogs, unless it, you know, X's me out early. But that is actually my goal there. So I have enough now. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get the frogs. So this, this one does take a little bit longer uh, as far as like money making goes, but it's more worth it because you can get a large profit, whereas most hunter things you can't really get a profit at all. Most hunter, there's not a large profit to be made, and that's why I really enjoy the big game hunter. I know there's a lot of people out there who absolutely hate it, but it is, it's worth it. And now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna kind of follow him a little bit. Okay, so now he's gonna turn his path. So we're gonna head over to this one. We're gonna start building it. Now I don't have the quick build yet. I didn't really unlock anything with this, my main account yet for this. But this is also a good way to get the yak task done because <coughs> this version of Hunter really, really does it quickly. Especially as you get into the higher and higher level dinos. Hmm. You can get a lot of XP really quick. It's really, really worth it. So not only are you getting good profits, you're getting good uh, rewards for it as well. Especially now that they're doing more and more with this area. Oh. Your only hope is that the uh, that roar occurs while you're doing all this because then ooh, profits. I like me some profits, and profits are always good. Now the main reason why I want to do this though, like completely, is there's also another thing you kinda wanna have if you're able to do it, 
is that you kind of want to have the bone collector from the Waco, the Lost Islands, you know, those areas. You kind of want to have that as well. Um, because then, well, I mean, you really wouldn't need the bone collector, but way to note bones would be good. So if you have magic note paper you got from, like, different treasure hunter events, that would be a good way to actually boost your profits from this. Because <clears throat> boosting profits, that's what we're kind of all about right here. So I got the first one. Now ever since they uh, fixed this, you can actually kind of skip this cutscene and still see what your different damages are. So I need yellow and red frogs. So the main one being the red frogs. Uh, but we will get a yellow frog here, and then I want to go ahead and focus on the blue, or the red frogs, uh, because, you know, that is the main frog that I need. Kind of skip through that a little bit. But yeah, each time you go through, try to collect as many frogs as you can get. Uh, it, it'll, it'll greatly help out, I promise that much. Alright, he's getting a little close for my liking. So we're going to do that. Get out of his way. We got the Phantasmal Frog over here. I know this is kind of turning into more of a big game hunter rather than money making, but these two kind of go hand in hand, and I know there's actually a good chunk of people who have not done big game hunter, so I'm kind of doing one of the same. Because a lot of people just don't like it. They think it's going to be too hard or it's too involved. In reality, it's not that bad. And you get a lot of XP and you get a lot of money. Now, I just want to show you guys, you know, how much money you could possibly get. You know, just from one trip. See, now I have all these that I need. So we're going to go over here. We're going to load this one up with the yellow. It doesn't matter which one, obviously. <clears throat> now since he's going down there we're going to come up here and we're going to start building this and now he'll go through that so we'll go over here we'll get the phantasmal now once this is done we'll head we'll head down because remember he's going to loop down a little bit oh he's going that way so we're just going to go over here Just kind of build it this way. And now go up here. And put the shark on for the bait and he's done. So, now to see what kind of reward I get from this. Now what I want to do just to kind of show you guys is I'm actually going to turn my bone collector, well my uh, Bone Crusher off, actually. So, that's actually what I'm doing up here. I'm going to turn my Bone Crusher off here. Uh, let's see here. Dinosaur Bones. We'll turn them off. See, Dinosaur Bones are valued at about 10k a piece right now. Now, if I had the full Trapper outfit, I could get even more bones from this. So, that's... Uh, that's something to kind of keep in mind. But like like I was just saying, right here, I got 31 raw shark. 31 raw shark is 2k a piece. And then I got the dinosaur bones, which are about 10k a piece. And then the dinosaur scales, which are actually only about 20 GP. But that is... The scales are not the main part of why you're here. The main part of why you're here is the meat, which is also nine, almost... Well, it's more around 8k. Now, personally, I'll be using that, so that's, you know, it's not necessarily proper for me right now. But eventually, these will, the Royal Shark will start becoming more and more of a profit, because I'll only be able to catch so many of these dinos per thing. And also, the dino bones are a great way to get prayer XP, Especially if you've been, you know, kind of maybe neglecting it up until this point. But, as you can see, this method has a very good turnout, even if you're not selling 
well, even if you're not getting like the main drops, you know, if you're not getting like main seeds or you're not getting, um, you know, dino babies or anything like that, you know, it, it still has a very large profit to it. So that'll actually do it for this guide though. Uh, both money making guide and big game hunter guide. I know this is a simple one, but you just gotta watch their pathing. That's all you gotta do. Uh, but that'll actually do it for this video, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later, guys.